I am glad you are all here. I would like to talk about the recent string of incidents occurring on the high road. Now then, let us try to figure out who perpetrated these nefarious acts. We have already heard some testimony. The hover lost its balance and overturned while attempting to avoid a passerby. But who could that passerby be? According to the hover's pilot, it was an albed female. We found footprints on one of the malfunctioning machina. So, let me ask you all. Has anyone recently been to the ruins at the High Road's south end? And does anyone recall jumping down from a great height? One final question. Would the Albed ladies please raise their hands? <laughs> please try to recall what happened, Riku. Shall we? Precisely. The hover crashed while trying to avoid hitting you. And you caused the drone machina to malfunction when you landed on it. You, Riku, are the one who caused these two incidents to occur. I am sure you meant no harm, but your carelessness invited disaster. Allow me to determine Riku's sentence, if I may. Sentence. Looks like all over. You must be tired. As neither did noob. Why the chocobos? They were being employed to power a ferry boat, so I purchased them. That's great. But can I go home now? 
I picked up all the trash. All of the trash? Every last piece. Look! I thank you for your hard work. Well, get talking. Ugh, this stinks. Feathers aren't trash. assist allies of New Yevon. But there's something I have to find out. Don't tend to hinder you, but some of the other troops are still edgy. You must be careful. Hey, your song was great! Yuna, that song of yours really got me thinking. If we had fought a war with New Yevon, it would have torn Spira in two. And I might not be talking to you right now. The fact is, there are still League members who want war. But I'll stop them alone if I have to. I don't want what happened a thousand years ago to happen again, no thank you. Just you watch, Lady Yuna. I won't let you down. pretty studly. He's all talk. You know, if there were more people like Yaibo around, things could change. I just know it. Fatet nakinar och makina luknilde. Fim diki bantfeba. Uta jawi tuyen pe trek trek. Well now, that sounds like a thing. He wants us to challenge their unbeatable makina.
have bigger fish to fry. We really trashed it. Ace cool. Ah, Kunaik. Free the cookie food machina. The ground will be passing down. Super smash terrific success! But we mustn't let success go to our heads. No, no, no! We must succeed again once more! Well, do relax and enjoy it. The show, I mean. I know, I know! As long as you're here, why don't you join the ball on stage? Since you are you, you're most welcome to. In fact, I want you to. I insist. Good luck! Oh, 
Oh, oh, I nearly forgot. I'd like to ask your help again one of these days. I'd most politely like to formally request your better participation in advance. Woo-hoo. It is as if this music delivered the guado from our unhappy fate. My guado salam. Those of us who remained until the very end eventually tired of our miserable fortune and fled to Makalania. We went to wither away together with the woods. Well, that is when we met our musical friends. They too were prepared to fade away with their beloved Makalania woods. Yet hearing them perform, I felt a quickening in my blood. I was quite moved. I could not stand by and let such exquisite music be extinguished. After consulting with the other Guado, I decided to bring them home to Guado Salam. Not a single Guado objected. It's been many years since I've seen such solidarity among my people. <sighs> Surely this music was the salve that healed our weary hearts. I am quite aware of Lorenzo's hatred for the Guado. If they were to attack tomorrow, I would neither run nor hide. If they asked to talk, I would talk. Were they to take my life, I would give it willingly. Not the Ronso. They don't want bloodshed. Because their elders are on top of things. That is auspicious news. The Guado, too, must choose a new leader. What about you? Preposterous. I will never be remembered for anything but my service under Lord Jiskel and Lord Seymour. Ah, quit your belly aching! You'd make a fine leader! You guided us to salvation without any concern for your own safety. You sure resolve worthy of a leader. But my strength came from your music. You're wrong. The music only helped you unlock your own inner strength. You really think so? Then I will work these old bones as best I can for my beloved Wado. If you're ever feeling weary, we'll play a song to make you cheery.
Oh, Lady Yuna, I'm glad you're here. Please, please, feel free to take anything you need. What is this place? This was to be the final resting place for the memories of the Guado. Before leaving, we carefully stored away those things we had passed down for generations. I'm told that some of us stole back here for a nostalgic glance at lost times. <laughs> Even the most unassuming of memories can console a wounded spirit. In that case, I shouldn't take anything. On the contrary. My lady's path leads to a bright tomorrow. The Guado would be honored if you use their past to shape Spear's future. Are you the Lady Yuna? Yes? I knew it. Leon and Aid told me about you. Really? Your friends? Yeah. I heard the Ronso hate us, but Leon and Aid were really friendly. Oh, this is for you. Aid gave it to me. For me? Yeah, they gave me tons more like it. Leon told me the story of Lady Yuna and the Ronso Elder. Now that I've met you, I think I want to go meet the Elder too. Besides, Leon and Aid promised me that we could climb the mountain together. is no more. Maester Keenock betrayed us. And my friends, they turned on me as well. I have no place else to go. Then, why do you come to me? I too am a Maester of Yevon. I don't suppose Maester Keenock and a certain other Maester might be vying for power behind the scenes. So an enemy of an enemy is a friend. I will not fail you. Very well. I will take you under my wing. Consider any record of your association with the Crimson Squad erased. You have my thanks. I will go into hiding until the time is right. Is this wise, Your Grace? Who knows what he might be planning? I can use him. Like the High Summoner's daughter. I don't recall asking your opinion. <sighs> the troop of carrying Lady Yuna has crossed the moon flow. Now then, shall we begin preparations to welcome my lord's future wife? Hmm. Very well.
Goldwing's last mission. Let's do it. Hey, 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 none of this last mission business, you hear? For me, it probably won't be. Be careful. I'll be fine. We're just going to talk after all. Mm.
I'm sorry. We weren't strong enough to stop him. We wanted to at least warn someone, but instead, we were dragged into the darkness. We're no better than fiends. It's all right. Forgive us. Please, tell me, what is he? Shuyin? Just a shadow. It may look like him, but the real Shuyin died long ago. Even after a thousand years, his hate and misery linger on. His feelings grew so strong they began to act on their own. Eventually, they became a shadow, a shade that wants only to vanish, but cannot. Just a shadow. I can handle a shadow. Are you sure? Yes, leave it to me. I'll banish shadow with light. Light? That's right. That's right. Call it love. You certainly took your sweet time. Why are you here? Because the boss never goes against Lord Nuji's wishes. You found him? As we was heading in, we found a sphere addressed to the boss! He said, <clears throat> Don't follow me. Turn back now and wait for my return. Actually doing what you're told? How novel. What can I say? One look at Nuji Buji's dashing visage on that spirit, I was, oh, charmed. How could I say no to such a cutesy, wootsy face? What if he... Don't worry. If he knows you're waiting, he has a reason to come home. <sighs> and wait I shall. We'll tell him that you're waiting like a good girl. You do that, love, and don't forget to stress, good girl.